a long time. We don't drive some in the franchise. Yeah, big I man know thing. the subscribers have been saying, yo, where is franchise? Where is A class? Yeah. We got something for you today. Nice with the color. Peeps, big up, big up, big up. I don't know. It's a boy franchise. And of course, your boy Breezy. Yeah. <laughs> we are here today, basically, just to reintroduce ourselves and, you know, drop a nice vlog, you know. Fox, Fox. For y'all. A long time, we're going to drive something in the franchise. Yeah, big I man. I know thing. the subscribers have been saying, yo, where is franchise? Where is A class? Yeah. We got something for you today. Nice with the color. Yeah, man. Good, good. And, yo, trust me. Happy to be here, bro. Bro, respect, respect, respect. I'm happy to have you here. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From old time days to know, bro. We, we do yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, persons out there might, might say we, we, are, we are one of the, one of the oldest set of vloggers mm -hmm. um, on the scene. We, we weren't the first, but we aren't the newest either. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. I think I think back in back in 2020 when COVID just hit, we were those persons who really took vlogging to a different level. You understand? Yeah. Differently yeah. from of course Nicola always been in the scene before us, but we kinda just revamped it all over again. Yeah man, we, we, we gave it a fresh we gave it a fresh look, you know. I agree on the scene. I agree. Yeah, yeah man. I agree. So for those that are new to my channel, I'm franchise. The channel is now red gear to the persons that have been here from day one you know nothing to change we are just going to be very versatile going forward so you're going to be you're going to be seeing vlogs like this going forward and you're going to be seeing the run and gun like you're all are used to um you know we're just going to switch it up for you guys all right fox all right all right so tafari forbes well, go on. formerly known as Breezy, mm -hmm. A-Class. What, what do you prefer to be called now? All right, so, can't forget where I come from, you mm -hmm. understand? So at the end of the day, I still want people to call me Breezy, mm -hmm. but when it comes down to the, the professional scene, and you know yeah. I mean the corporate scene, I would rather person to see me as Tafari. Right. Or the BMW plug himself, you understand? That Good is then. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so my question is, my yeah. first question is, yeah. um, what was the, what was the, the, the thought process behind the rebranding? Like, what, um, what made you decide, you know? You know, because you're an integral Honda, Honda man, you know, you rebranded, which suits you very well. Yeah. Yeah, but what was the process? All right, so honestly, let's say, before we jump into that, mm -hmm. the integral is still here. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's on the integral, and I got no it, it way. People. It's still there, same so as much as all you guys see me all about BMW and the lifestyle. The Teggy is still here. I'm still a Honda boy, same way. As bad as I'm a BMW man right now. Mm -hmm. You understand? But the thought process behind all that, bro, you know what I mean? When I, when I transitioned to BMW, I said to myself, I, I, wanted, I wanted something that really matches what I'm doing. You understand? Because I want people to see me as the man himself, the sales person mm -hmm. himself, the plug mm -hmm. himself. You understand? When it comes down to BMW. And I couldn't use Breezy because when, you, when, you, when you're in corporate life, bro, you want a person to see you as who you are. Yeah, yeah. You understand? And, and not, not to take away from Breezy because Breezy is always there. Outside of the jacket and tie, you're going to see tattoos. You're going to see Breezy. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But corporate, you're going to see Tafari. So I, I did that with the whole rebranding of the BMW plug himself because I wanted me to be the man and sell as much BMW as possible okay. to our local market. When right. people see BMW, more yeah. them see my face. Yeah. My, that face, yeah? 
Yeah. This is the face <laughs> you see when you even think about getting a BMW. And that's the type of wave I want to create. Yeah. You understand? And because we are, we, we've always been influencers, mm -hmm. you understand? You find that we use the platform, social media, to really put that out there. Because really and surely, you've been here with us a few times, no one really comes in the showroom. Yeah. So I have to use what I have to reach out to more people by using social media. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm understand. coming from entertainment mixing it with sales mm -hmm. you get the plug himself ah. you understand so it's a whole complete vibe i can tell you that much all right so I understand I understand so you know i can get i can get where you're coming from in regards to like moving from you know the a class the breezy persona to a more professional um environment you know the switch over and why it makes sense so i feel like it was a good move and honestly coming you know see you know Knowing you from so far and seeing where you are now, it suits you. It actually it suits you, bro. It's it, so, man, franchise. It's it, it, bro. I yeah, man. It. And I see where you, you, you can, you can split um, the personas of, you know, breezy A class, and you can use, you know, Tafari Forbes, the BMW plug. Right. Yeah. So that's very good. I know we we are talking about Tafari Forbes now, but I believe. Your A class fans, your breezy fans, yeah. um, would like to know uh, basically what what's gonna happen in terms of the Integra and Breezy going forward. I know that you're you're no the BMW. Yeah. Right. What's, what's what's gonna happen to the Integra and Breezy going forward? The Integra will forever be a part of the group. You understand? The Integra will be something that I will not. And let me repeat will not give away or even sell. Mm -hmm. You understand? I see the Integra as a hero car. Like, if, like every vlogger has a one car with them start with. Mm -hmm. And that car is a hero car because that is the foundation. Yeah. So as, but as though we have grown and we are now experiencing different type of cars when it comes down to different type of performance. Mm -hmm. as, but as though the Integra might not be as fast as M240 behind us. Yeah. But it's still the foundation of how I started. You understand and the integra really kind of put me on the market with, or even on the map for person to even know because i wanted to be different with the techie and that difference that i did really highlighted me and people tied me to integra mm -hmm. right now if somebody even think about the integra they think about a class things yeah even if that person is not in the group so that's the type of stigma i created and i, I still want to keep that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna basically move away from that right. because that is what Creative breezy. Okay. You understand? So in my garage, the Integra is going to be there. I, a BMW is going to be there. Yeah. And a couple other cars I'm going to venture into. But the Integra won't go anywhere. I won't sell it. So it's forever going to be here. And a matter of fact, you will be seeing content coming on the Integra after this one. Because mm -hmm. I have some content going on right now because we're getting by the car ready. The ATL team, they're actually helping me to actually put the car back together because a few of the guys mm -hmm. over by the service department, they yeah. own Integras. Oh, okay, nice. So they are very much excited to help me to get back my Integra, Pretty Blue, on the right track. Okay. So you're going to see content with that too, but Pretty Blue not going nowhere. All right, so people, you know, we wanted, I wanted to do that for the A-class fans, the Integra fans, the Breezy fans, to basically give you all the information because we haven't... We haven't been on the forefront of the scene for at least a few months now, so I know people are wondering what we're doing currently with um, our machines, the, the hero cars, like he said earlier, the hero cars. You know, Talking about I, that, what's up with Riri? What's up with Riri, uh, Riri um, honestly, Riri is, is coming back in the streets very soon, guys. Um, I had to take an, a, a hiatus uh, from, you know, the whole dumping money into cars yes you know because yes. as car people y'all are fully aware that our passion and our love you know it's a very expensive one it is yeah it is. so you know sometimes we have to we have to we have to kind of we have to understand that you know we we have priorities and we have other things that we have to take care of sometimes and we have to pause what we really love to do and take on what we have to do, right. what is necessary. Because life is going to be life, bro, and life is there. Yeah, man. So, but not to worry. Like Breezy, I'm not telling Riri. No you know. day, no way. <laughs> yeah, none at all. Um, you're going to be seeing both the cars back on the scene. Bro, and ask, ask the viewers and subscribers, would you like to see a collab with Pretty Blue and Riri in one video? Huh? Probably a showdown face to face car. Mm. We have the same sponsorship, you know. Yeah, Max yeah, yeah. Max 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 two hours. Yeah. So we can have similar setup. Yeah. So we should put both cars on the track as 
franchise and A class and yeah, really just versus versus you know have some fun on yeah, the track. We should, we should. Yeah, right. If you want that comment in the comment section, pretty blue versus jewelry, let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Good idea. That's like a creator wave, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's get to the meat of the matter. What we, we actually came here to do guys. We came here today to test out well one of the, the, the show cars he has here. Um I'm gonna let him go into, you know, which of the cars we're gonna be test driving today and you know we're gonna have some fun with that. Alright? All right, so today I actually invited Franchise to test drive out demo that we have here, which is our 2 Series. 2023 model is one of the freshest BMWs right now on the street, you understand? And it's also one of the most affordable units that we have, you understand? We are currently pushing the 1 Series and the 2 Series as the most affordable ones, you understand? Okay. So you yeah. find that any Jamaican should be able to afford this one. Basically, because this is not a car that I'm saying, yo, you should give me $20 million for it. Or the M240, $15 million. I'm literally selling the 1 Series starting at $7,995 and the 2 Series at $8,995. So that's literally $97,000 a month, mm -hmm. right? Or $103,000 a month, right? Most Jamaicans can afford that and they're getting a very premium vehicle. Mm -hmm. Plus, they're getting a service package that covers their car for three years or five years. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. What this does is, once you buy a car from us, bro, you don't have to worry for the next three to five years about servicing the car or maintaining the car. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because we at ATL will cover everything. And with BMW in specific, we cover literally everything. The only thing you might end up paying for is if you punch your tire, mm -hmm. you, you have to replace the tires. Yeah, yeah. But suspension parts, front end parts, engine parts, wiper blades, mm -hmm. spark plugs, everything that operates the car for it to be functional and moving, yeah. BMW covers it for free. So you naturally would have the luxury and the mindset of knowing that if you take your car to us, give us the car and just come back and pick up the car. You don't have to worry about extra funds out of your pocket, like some other brands. You understand now to call on him, yeah. but you don't have to worry about that guys with BMW and that's why I'm here to actually put it out to the world that yo, you guys can afford it. Mm -hmm. It's not that a lot of persons see the brand and feel like, yo, it's a BMW, I don't, want to, I don't want to buy because it's too expensive. No, BMWs are affordable Yeah. because the banks makes it easy for us to afford it. No, because of the monthly payment. Okay. You understand bro, you can buy a BMW. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I'm here to be there. Yeah, 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 guys. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? You can drop that in the comments. Yeah, man. I think you should buy one, bro. Yeah, if you want to franchise drive a BMW as well as, you know, have him, him, him EK at him. I yeah. will put it into a 128 Ti. 128 Ti. That car has 265 horsepower, mm -hmm. 400 Newton meter, hatchback. Damn. Sexy. And oh. the monthly payment on that car is 97000 a month. Oh. The sale price is 8495 currently right now. From this video, if you sh if you guys should reach out to me right now about the one series and the two series, I can give you a good price. Mm. You understand? Because we're literally s selling them out right now. Mm. Okay. A lot of persons compare the GTI R Golf mm. with the 128 Ti, and the 128 Ti surpasses the GTI R. Mm. You can imagine the Golf have no chance with okay. the 128 Ti. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So if you're a racer. The TI make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. You understand? And hit me up. And do, we do have Countryman, Mini Countryman available yeah. as well. Going for 695 right now. We have some loaner cars and some demo units selling out. And if you want a brand new car, 7995, 8995, 8495. We're good to go. We can give okay. you a Cooper S. All right. So when I hear the salesman, you know, pitch. Sorry, pitch. guys. It's yeah. natural. <laughs> when, I hear the, when I hear the pitch, and I'm sure you all understand, there are tiers to vehicles are you know different um what would you call them now different types in the same model so that i assume is for you know the day-to-day -day regular jamaicans what about you know persons like me and you would prefer a performance um version do you guys have any of those well those those type of models so you know m series of course m series is the bmw type part m performance uh, m performance what M series you guys um, carry? Alright bro, so this is it right? So in each model there is an M performance and there's an M car and there's an M competition. Mm -hmm. So there's a few tiers. Mm -hmm. So you start with uh, a kitted tier which is an M package and an M package is a car that looks like the M car but it's not the M car. It only have the kits. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have the M performance engine. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have M um, 
certain cerium gray finish on the car. It does not have those, it's just a regular kit. You understand? Okay. What makes the M car different is the three liter six cylinder B58 motor Ooh. that's in it. B58. B58. Bad 58. Machine. And not to talk about the competition engine, which is the S58. It mm -hmm. don't like those yo know, those engine sick bro mm -hmm. you understand those engine produce 384 and it can go all the way up to 510 600 the man them literally can really bring the s58 engine to 1000 hardcore Ooh. in an m4 competition nice. so those engines are built to be tuned and really go above and beyond for some ridiculous performance mm -hmm. you understand but if you just want a regular performance car you can get the M Performance car. This car behind this is an M240 four-wheel drive. The chassis is a lighter chassis than the M340. Produces the same 384 horsepower, mm -hmm. right? 500 Newton meter. This is a beast on the track. You know nice. what I mean? This yeah. might can, and, and I won't even say might. Comparing an M340 versus the M240, the M240 is gonna win. Yeah, yeah, because it's a lighter chassis it's with the same power. With the same power, and it's mm. a four-wheel drive. Yeah. So we do have these cars for you, right? And if you're a man that says, yo, the M Performance car is a little bit too much when it comes down to oil, a little bit too small of a horsepower, mm -hmm. we can upgrade it to an M car. Yeah. And then we can upgrade it to an M competition. All so right. It all depends on where your budget is. Yeah. We can put it into a car, but we have a car for everybody. Okay. Of a car for literally. The man just want to work around town with yeah. a car fee. Yeah. The man don't want to go on the track with a car fee. The man just want a ridiculous for with a car fee. And Good. now we're jumping into the EVs, mm. the electric cars. Electric. We're launching our i4. Mm -hmm. You can see the first BMW i4 in Jamaica. That's a full electric BMW. Yeah. First yeah. time on the island. Guys, hopefully when that drops. You know, we can we can do a test drive on that. I'll too. give you a test drive on it, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'll give yeah. you a test drive on it. Fingers crossed. Yeah. All right, so guys, we don't want to, you know, bore you with, you know, the too much information, the, too much information <laughs> aspects, you know, all at once. So, Breezy, what do you say? Let's test drive the car. All right. Let's go for a test drive. We're going to go in the two series. I want you to give me an honest opinion, opinion as to how you think the car drives. All right. How you think the car handles. And my chief franchise, let me just put it out there from now. Mm -hmm. The 218i is not a fast performance oriented car yeah figured but i want you to judge it off comfort mm -hmm. i want you to judge it off practicality mm -hmm. i want you to judge it of how silent the inside of the cabin is mm -hmm. i also mm -hmm. want you to judge it off handling on the street yeah and i just want you to judge it on an overall general what you think about the aesthetics mm -hmm. of the car right. understand because remember like i said before mm -hmm. if i wanted to put you in a fast car I would have put you in an M performance car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not an M performance, this is a car for the regular Jamaica to just move around a daily driven car. Makes sense. It still has some speed because mm -hmm. it's still faster than the average of the cars on the street. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a BMW. Definitely. But it's not the fastest BMW that we build. Yeah. All it's right. basically probably at the slowest once. All right. So but comfort is important. And honest, yeah. Honest opinion. We're going to have some fun. I'm going to tell you what it, what it does for me yeah. personally and you know what y'all can expect if you're gonna buy one so it's a breeze ready i'm ready bro i am ready bro let's go and by the way guys hit me up on instagram the bmw plug himself and mm -hmm. of course on youtube a class vlogs yeah right we gotta put the plugs in there we gotta put the social handles mm -hmm. so that we can hit me up at all costs if you do want a car please feel free to reach out franchise much respect let's go test out the car see what i go on all right let's go. people so before we actually um, go well before I actually go and test the car right in over to the what we call that center that the blue the blue is that service center service center so we're heading over to service center now people so we can see pretty blue we can show the pretty blue and then test out the machine so I want to show them the blue is still here you understand mm -hmm. yeah man so this is not gonna work. Look how, look how, look how pretty she sits. Mm. Charger. 
let's go show the viewers and subscribers that the car is active it's still here and uh i'll have you go and do your thing with this car all right all right let's go this is definitely the price position pretty blue it's been a long journey with this car but we, it's still here it's still looking nice what do you think franchise yeah man pretty blue is sitting pretty <laughs> best part of here for sure is this part Get me. Wire talk. Yes, sir. So, blue is still here actively. Looking nice and doing her thing. So, today we're going to do some specs on her. Remember, earlier I explained to you that there's some content coming out with this car. So, we're going to be actually adding some traction bar, some uh, lower tie bar, because it's already at the upper tie bar, uh, traction bar, the, well, stabilizer bar at the back, and of course, some tie bar. So, we're going to tie up the car, basically. And that will, of course, help to the performance and the handling of how the car actually drive. Because no, I don't like how it feels when I'm driving the car. So I wanted to fix that. And then we're going to align the car, then get a bad tune, and then use the blue back on the street. All right. So that's the idea. All so right. you're going to see that if you want that video, you can go on to my page, A Class Vlogs, and you'll be, you'll be able to see that video. All right, franchise. Well, here's a sneak peek of Pretty Blue. So now we're going to hand you the key. For your bima for today you understand so enjoy her drive her to the best you know what i mean test exactly what i explained to you comfort aesthetics handling everything is good to go I'll give your honest review nothing made up just let me know what you think because i want to get somebody into the car all right all right bless up thing for me it, it feels like I'm sitting in the future you know in this car oh shit feel that. you have to excuse me because I have been driving 90s cars my whole life especially 90s Japanese cars my whole life so I am pretty much used to that you know and not this first the interior the interior is beautiful people the gauges are they're kind of like manual and digital in one you know the shifter shifter is futuristic as well it's not one of the typical shifters where you when you move it it stays into like a into you know the position of d or you know r neutral drive and stuff like that it, it clicks and it goes back into its original position the interior is sleek nice and it feels like yo it feels safe and comfortable in here like you know like like the car is protecting you you know that feeling you get when um your parents when you're younger your parents you know used to cuddle and hug you that's the feeling you get these semi bucket seats or bucket seats i don't know if they're semi or, or fully bucket um they, they you know, I'm used to I'm used to like full bucket seat, um, full metal bucket seat, or you know, bucket seats that aren't as comfortable. Now this hugs you, you know, prevents body roll when you're in the corners. You know, oh gosh, it, it, they're nice, they're nice. They match the door trims, they match the design of the dash, everything like it's, it's super futuristic and and like cutting edge looking inside here. I like it. Um, definitely, you, you need one of these in your life. If you're a car man, you like if you like old car, new car, one of these, one of these is not good. So, um, from a scale of one to ten, what I give the interior, I give the interior, uh, I give this a, give this a solid eight point five or nine, just with the design, the comfort. You know, put together. We're gonna give this like a nine out of ten for the interior. Alright. Um, we're gonna pull up on a stoplight now. 
I'll tell you what it, um, what the performance is like. Um, you know, versus an average car. You know, I drive a 2000 Honda Civic. So let's see. You know what that is like. different thing from you know the old Japanese cars that I'm used to this sits on the road um, and it responds super nice as well usually for us to get like this level of kind of um, you know a pull and turn into our old Japanese cars we have to if we don't have for modifications we have to modify you know suspension um, you know Suspension right too. Suspension covers a wide area of things. It's, it's not just struts. So everything underneath the car Performance wise with engine, you know guys we have to remove our engines pull them up and fill them with aftermarket parts for it to Really give you an exciting pull. This pulls So this is stuck and it pulls like this Yo, yeah like this yeah well definitely nice so if if this car really a pull like this now and feel so you know safe and solid in the room can you imagine a game series you know definitely yo Nick if you watch this we need a we need a pull in the in the poison car um, performance wise guys so cornering so far I like it um, the pull of the engine I like it, you know what I mean? This, for your everyday driver would be, you know, a lot of fun. As much as it isn't that M series, it would be a lot of fun. So I would give, I would give the performance for this too, definitely. Um, I can't, I can't call it a 10 out of 10 in a car. There's, you know, there's, there's always room for, room for improvement. So I won't give it a 10 out of 10, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. So, you, you know, that can let you know the level of, fun you can have with this car on the road. Alright, so I guess what's going on people? I believe all this time when I drive the car, um, I have it in a sport mode, so drop it in a Sport mod. Let's see. to see other modes right doesn't make sense yes so a bit leaving out of this and going back into my civic feels like leaving a leaving a car and going back to a bicycle so how was it bro yo man tell you German engineering yo mm -hmm. once I buy one of these breezy there's no going back oh yeah tafari it's back it's bro. Bro. it's back it's back I'm happy you yeah. got the chance to enjoy it, man. Yes, sir. So, you know what's next? What's we that? need you to come on and show, show us, you know, all the features of the car now. Ready? Uh, all right, no problem. Can do that? All right. All right, peeps. So, Breezy is now in the driver's side. Absolutely. So, um, he's just going to show us some features. All right. So, a few features I love with the BMW, right, is I love the park assist. 
park assist. Another part that the car can park itself. Mm -hmm. Right. Also, part of the park itself are bay park for itself. Mm -hmm. So currently, if you should put the camera in front, you'll notice that BMW X4. So what we want to do is park beside the BMW X4. Right. So once the driver has his seatbelt on, right, all I need to do is just press the park assist button right here. Once that's pressed, you will see where the screen will become like this. Right. So all I need to do now is slowly drive past the X4, right, at a distance where the sensors can actually pick up, right? So I'm driving past the X4 right now. On the screen, I'm seeing my sensors are picking up. While driving past the X4, you will notice it picks up a parking space right here. So I'll then press the P on the screen, and then the car will ask me to take my foot off the brake, and then it will do its thing. So I'm gonna take my foot off the brake right now. No foot on the brake, no foot on the steering wheel, and the car is taking over and because of the parking sensors i can go to bed probably fall asleep in the car eat food and know that this car will park itself safely i, I can trust it i can i can i can i'm i can what i want what i want sleep right now isn't it just let me know when the car <laughs> park me wake up but then yeah all you know, i want sleep and thing and thing. i can close my eyes i'm gonna close my eyes though. all right let's close my close my eye Eyes are closed. I not do nothing. I'm a no so an X4 there right there, so I'm a no so cover car behind me. Eyes are closed. I don't see what I'm going. I'm a can guarantee to you that the car not gonna crash. And my eyes are closed. I'm gonna park itself. My eyes are still closed. I ain't doing shit. I'm not pressing no brake. I'm not doing nothing, and it will stop itself naturally with my eyes closed. The moment it gave me the notification, which was that sound, mm -hmm. I know that the car is parked safe. Open my eyes. I'm beside the X4. I'm beside the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, good. So I love that feature about the car. It's very safe. You can do it parallel parking and you can do it bay parking. Next feature I love about the car is the BMW voice command, where you can actually talk to the car and it can talk back to you. Right? For example, if I should say, hey, BMW, wind in the windows, the car will wind in the windows for you. Mm. Right? All right, you can use the little speaker on the steering wheel. You can press that, and then you can ask the car. For example, open all windows. I will open all windows. Uh, fresh. You can do the same thing to close the back. Close all windows. I will close all windows. Tell me a joke. I can't imagine that you're bored. Maybe you haven't yet had the chance to try sport mode. Did you try sport mode? Yes, I did. All right, good. <laughs> good. So this is yeah. the BMW voice command, right? So with your BMW, it makes everything easier. Mm. You understand? You don't have to try to try to navigate from your screen. This is touch screen, but you also have a dial right here that you can actually use to operate your screen. So you don't necessarily have to be reaching to touch your screen. Plus, you can also control your screen by using your creature comforts and your steering wheels. Mm -hmm. So, BMW is it, the car is so driver focused. It anybody that can come in a BMW and drive it, even if it's your first time. That's how easy BMW makes the drive is for you guys, and it's easy to figure out. The technology is not crazy. It's just an easy and smooth car to drive. And that's on worse with the 218i. Comfort of it is nice. And that's on. I love the fact that it also has frameless doors, so you find it a, it's a little bit more sportier. Yeah. Like for me, I'm the type of guy that will pop out the sunroof all the time and just lower the windows. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because it's that sport vibes. I love it. You get me? And you know, my, uh, I love, I, there's other things that I love about the car. I can I can ask the car to change the ambient lighting because in the night these little areas glow. And if I if purple is my favorite color, I say change to purple. I selected the light color lilac with contouring in lilac. So naturally, in a night scene, you will see where this will change the contrast. It mm. will change the purple, right? If I want the AC to be synchronized, if I want to set as the temperature, I'll ask the car to all that. I'll ask the car to do all that. So it's pretty, it's a fresh, it's a fresh car. Mm. It has automatic headlights. The headlights comes on whenever the time gets dark. It always has the daytime running lights on throughout the day. Have automatic wipers once the rain starts, it just wipes itself naturally, and yeah. just many more cool features that comes with the 218i. Yeah. So, I know I know probably a lot 
like many minutes in this vlog already. Yeah. But the greatest thing is, I want you to come down and actually do your test drive. I would love to invite someone that's watching this vlog to come down to the Box City Center, ask the BMW plug, and test drive the car for yourself. And you see what it's all about, and I'll show you many other features that the car comes with. Is it me? Bless up. All right, so people, you've seen it here first. Fox, Fox. Me? Fox. Trust me. Um, I enjoy the test drive, I enjoy the car, you know what I mean? And, you know, I've known Breezy for a while now, and trust me, it's always a vibe hanging out with Breezy. Fox. <laughs> yeah. So, people, when you guys are ready and, you know, up to coming and buying a BMW, you know what I mean? Reach out to the boss, BMW plug himself, Tafari uh, Forbes. I can get him a number tonight, 845 1126. Alright. Hit me up on that number, and I will definitely guide you through the process of getting your bmw today all right so you hear it people i hope you all enjoyed today's feature mm. fresh fresh yeah the panoramic group nice make bro. sure what your one nice make sure y'all like share subscribe def oh, oh. <laughs> and comment big up on yourself it's franchise again your boy Breezy. Take care, guys. Bless up. Hope you all enjoy this one. Yeah, what? The collab. And by the way, again, we will do with the pretty blue versus Riri collab. Don't mm -hmm. forget that. <laughs> yeah, all right, sir. <laughs> <laughs>